kind of funny, but you'd think that with more telescopes and better technology, we'd actually be solving all of these astronomical mysteries left and right. But it seems to be quite the opposite. Instead, we seem to find more and more, pretty much on a monthly basis. And one such unexplained mystery was discovered back in 2018. This unusual explosion you see right here, referred to as AT2018 Cow, or basically the Cow for short, in essence created a completely new mystery that right now has no explanation. A new type of an unexplained explosion that seems to be extremely powerful, but also seems to be extremely fast, and very often containing a lot of blue light. And as a result, these unusual explosions today are referred to as the F-Bots, Fast Blue Optical Transients, or sometimes as LF-Bot, where L stands for luminous, because they seem to be just as bright as a typical supernova and can be seen from very far away. And though this detection back in 2018 is still not really explained, since then a few more discoveries have been made by scientists using different types of telescopes, with one of the recent ones discussed in a video in the description. But now the scientists discovered something else nobody expected. Another transient, another unusual explosion, that didn't just happen once, but actually seems to repeat over and over and over and over and over again. And that kind of makes no sense. And so, hello info person, this is Anton. Today we're going to discuss F-Bots once again, briefly discuss what the scientists think is happening here, and talk about this recent detection as well. But first, I guess a brief overview. So here's what we think a normal supernova usually looks like, and here's the one that involves some kind of a collapsing star that usually produces gamma ray bursts. You can learn more about GRBs in one of the videos in the description. But here's what the scientists kind of think might be happening around F-Bots. Almost like a mixture between the two, potentially some jets, maybe some turbulence, very likely a lot of magnetic interactions, and most importantly, a huge amount of power. Or at least that's what the scientists thought at first, based on the first few detections. But further analysis of each of these F-Bots discovered something unusual in all of them. For example, the first one, the cow, turned out to be very flat, sort of resembling something you would see in a science fiction movie. It wasn't really clear why this is so, but the video in the description provides a few explanations. The next one, known as Koala, turned out to be very hot, approximately 40,000 Kelvin. The third one, for some reason, had very powerful emissions with material moving at approximately 55% the speed of light. Surprisingly, there was nothing unusual about the fourth one, but the fifth one turned out to be extremely bright in the X-rays, 200 times brighter than anything else before. The most recent one, the Finch, described right there in one of the videos, happened in the middle of nowhere, far away from any galaxy. But the one that was detected last year, today referred to as Tasmanian Devil, because of TSD I guess, at first was believed to be somewhat usual as well, and that's until recent examination by all of these scientists who wrote the paper you can find in the description. And here they discovered something super unusual. As a matter of fact, nothing like this has ever been seen before from anything. Here once again this was picked up by an automatic system that was able to see a sudden change of light. In this case though, this light was approximately 1000 times brighter than a typical supernova. But normally with supernova, we kind of see the same results. In every single case, when a supernova happens, the luminosity graph resembles something similar to this. Essentially, it becomes brighter and brighter for a few days, reaches a peak approximately two weeks after, and then slowly diminishes in brightness over the next few months. This is common to both type 1 and type 2 supernova, and so normally this doesn't change very much. Now, for most F-Bots, it was kind of similar as well, but usually much, much quicker. And so the first detection from this one was very similar as well. It lasted for about a few days and disappeared afterwards, in essence confirming another F-Bot. So basically the main difference is that a supernova would last for maybe a few months, this one only lasted a few days. But something else was detected here approximately 100 days later. In December of 2022, researchers working on this particular object discovered another very strange emission, but this time it was not blue, it was more red colored, and just as powerful as the previous one. Basically suggesting that at least two emissions occurred from this particular object only 100 days apart. Ok, cool cool cool, but they kept looking and they looked at some of the older data as well. Discovering multiple emissions from the object, some, surprisingly, only lasting a few minutes. And even more surprisingly, every single emission was just as powerful as the first one. Suggesting that this unusual object was continuously producing super powerful explosions, more powerful than a typical supernova, 
over and over and over again, with at least 14 discovered as of today, making this super difficult to explain. On top of this, to make things even more difficult, it also produced a lot of X-ray and radio emissions afterwards for at least a few weeks. But that could actually provide a little bit of a clue. For example, the blue light that we saw originally in 2022 was very likely because of extreme heat. These are known as thermal emissions. But the additional emissions, especially the ones in radio waves or X-rays, are actually the result of the interaction with the environment around this object. So, for example, when some kind of a powerful jet or very powerful particles strike the gas around this object, they're going to end up producing a lot of different afterglows. Although, what exactly caused the red color is currently unknown. And because this galaxy is relatively far away, over 3 billion light years away from us, trying to answer this is obviously not easy. But right now, the assumption is that most of these emissions probably came from extremely strong magnetic fields. And more importantly, because some emissions were very short, as short as 20 seconds, it sort of puts a limit on the size of this object. Since we have a limit to the speed of light, it's quite likely that this object cannot be bigger than approximately 0.1 astronomical units, approximately 15 million kilometers. But nevertheless, whatever this is, it was able to produce 14 supernova-like emissions, or even 1000 times brighter than a supernova, in just 120 days, but also providing data in different frequencies of light. And so it's actually quite possible that because of this very strange object, we might be able to finally solve the mystery of FBOTs by observing what happens here. With the best suggestion right now being either some kind of a black hole or a neutron star, possibly creating super powerful jets that then essentially resemble a supernova-like explosion and additional after effects as the jet interacts with the gas near it. But the reason these emissions are so powerful is because of the amount of accretion that seems to happen around these black holes or neutron stars. So maybe the star in this case is actually not in a stable orbit, but instead has a very unusual orbit, or potentially has an orbit where it's going to collide with the black hole, where something causes these very abrupt, very bright flashes of light only visible for a few days. And somewhat similar emissions or somewhat similar flares are sometimes observed from various active supermassive black holes, with the brightest flare or the brightest emission potentially happening when the star finally collides with a black hole or a neutron star, releasing a huge amount of energy all at once. But because some of the material is still going to be orbiting around the black hole, it's possible that we're going to be seeing more emissions over time. Either way, whatever is happening here, it's quite likely that this object is going to provide a lot of new data in the next few months. It's also quite likely that we might see even more of these unusual flares, and if they look slightly different and diminish over time, it will confirm the idea behind a star colliding with a black hole or a neutron star. But only time will tell exactly what's happening here, and at least for now, FBOTs are going to stay as a new mystery that at the moment nobody can solve. But in the last few years we've discussed so many other mysteries, including unusual radio circles known as orcs, or of course, very strange emissions known as fast radio bursts, with the videos in the description talking a little bit more about this as well. And so on that note, once we actually solve this, I'll come back and talk more about this in some of the future videos. Subscribe. Share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences. Come back tomorrow to learn something else. Support the channel on Patreon by joining channel membership or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye-bye.